Hi guys, back again with me, Austin from Abba White Heart. Today I'm going to share with you my experience on this three pack set. This is B25, B4 B25 uh, Acid Rain, okay. the 2.5 inch line of the Omanga military Abaddon Trooper. Okay, so this unit was, is called uh, the Abaddon Trooper uh, 128. A scale military infantry unit for articulation Abaddon NCO is included so probably this is the NCO uh, I don't think we have this kind of color scheme in the 118 scale but anyway let's just continue look at the package um, okay. <clears throat> look what we have all right so here's a bit of background story if you want to pause now and read you can do it now all right so Emperor Alexander III uh, utilizing the this biochemically and mechanically enhanced soldiers all right so I better as your lead trooper squad okay so this is NCO here we have the Abon trooper these are kind of leader of squad uh, well this I think so far we have seen, you know, the box and the Uggers. These are the enemy, all right. Uh, I want, I'm not quite sure who's the bad guy or anything, but it seems that they are the antagonists. They're kind of the empire, empire-like in this, in Star Wars, you know. So, uh, okay, let's just look at this. Some promotional pictures and then the all the equipment that they have uh, 2017 yes yeah, so it's not actually quite new um, well the box itself here is not really in the best condition sorry about that but I just want to share with you this this is not a toy okay I'm not sure whether B25 is still continuing the line I think they are focusing on other friend uh, other uh, franchise or other yeah, IP other property but I'm not sure okay but anyway so here's the packaging of the Abaddon Trooper 3 pack set B25 line well let's take a look what's inside okay all right so uh, you know I just want to point out to you that there's two type of you know the NCO or and the Abaddon Trooper is very much the same body mold okay no difference in body mold at all as you can see here it's just different paint scheme okay as you can see here right okay so we'll focus more on the uh, I think the difference is here it has a sort of logo here whereas the NCO has different markings set the different colorway okay. all right uh, let's just go with the NCO first because uh, you know what actually I don't really like it when I look at it you know um, I'm not sure what what color they want to accomplish with this kind of not really yellow but kind of a bronze or are they supposed to be metallic because if you look at it it's not real it's not that metallic okay. it's not it's not metallic it's I don't know it looks weird okay but that's probably just me so don't worry about it okay um, okay yeah different mark here on the chest is always this splash kind of splash of orange uh, which you can find on the Abaddon Trooper as well later on are the white pockets here mm. and then the kind of I don't know bronze uh, brass like supposedly color I'm not sure uh, but the eye is blue there might need a bit of work uh, but that's okay All right um, the helmet is unremovable of course yeah this is pretty much uh, Abaddon Trooper uh, if you have seen the 118 scale my previous videos 
Okay, I'll put the thing somewhere here. You can check it out as well. Right? So at the back, okay, and this other side is this lining. Okay, uh, and then there's this hole. I'm not sure whether we can use it to put the rifle in there. But yeah, we'll see later on in the accessories. The belt, and then at the belt here has with the along with the uh, white pot sorry the white pockets here it's actually removable it seems I think it's a separate part as you can see first robbery but I'm not gonna try to take it out okay uh, it's very small then there's another lining here uh, on the feet okay uh, there's an orange dot there. I'm not sure whether it's intentional or not. Probably not. As you can see, there's a little dot there. Alright. So, yeah. And see, I'm not sure. C probably is commander or captain. Commander. Command. O is officer. And I'm not sure what N is. If you know anything about military term, please. Let me know in the comment. All right, so for the articulation, uh, the head is on a ball joint as usual. Uh, oops, as you can see. So you can do all kind of ball joint motions and full rotation at that. Uh, looking down that much, actually quite a lot there. Looking up that much only, uh, and side to side. By the way, this part of the helmet is rubbery, okay, which is okay for me. I think, uh, can you see it? Kind of a, a breathing apparatus. Okay. All right. And then uh, let's continue. The arm here, so uh, you can rotate fully. Okay. And then on the shoulder, you have this motion. <coughs> okay. To the back that much. Okay. So you see the hinge. And then up here on the bicep, you, you actually have rotation. Let me try. Okay, <clears throat> did I listen to the voice noise just now? Okay, so you do have rotation on the bicep here. It's very small. You have the elbow band more than 90 there. Slightly more than 90. And then you have the wrist rotation. <clears throat> okay. Alright, and then the uh, belly here, we have a crunch. You can bend down that much, bend to the back that much, looking up. Okay, no side to side though, unfortunately, but we do have rotation. So full rotation here. <clears throat> right. Now with the legs, uh, let me see. The legs here is on a ball joint, as you can see, with an opening. The opening allows you to do this kind of split. Uh, the pocket is robbery, so we'll try to do a front kick here. Front kick, yeah, not bad. Uh, back kick. Okay, and then kind of side kick there. Okay, uh, not bad. Okay. So you can do ball joint motion with it. Okay, you can do this kind of split as well. Adjust the position of the ball joint, and you can do something like this. <clears throat> okay, all right, you can move that side. So, ball joint, ball joint motion. Okay, front kick, back kick. Okay, and then up here on the thigh, we have normally we have rotation. Yeah, we do uh, have rotation, it's quite tight. Okay, all right. Uh, what else? What's next? What's next? Ooh, uh, knee band. The knee band is this much. Okay, more than ninety. And then uh, we have uh, we have another small ball joint on the ankle there, which allow us to move up that much, move down not so much. Uh, this also acts for ankle pivot for the for the figure and for rotation as well okay so yeah 
your ball joint motion. It's not a perfect ankle rocker, but still, to some capacity, it still works. Okay, as long as the figure still can stand up nicely and pose nicely, I think that's that's not bad. All right. Okay. And then here we have the uh, Blood Trooper. We have two, two which are pretty much identical, I would say. No, I'm not sure if there's any differences at all. Let me let me have a closer look here. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think so. Uh, if 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 that must that if that it's really important for you to know. I think the uh, only difference is that the position of the belly here versus the what do you call this? The pelvis. Okay, so the belly and the pelvis is not really in the middle, so it may vary through figures as you can see here. Alright, and then uh, the splotches, I said that in the chest is always this orange splotch. I'm not sure whether this is intentional, kind of a wear and tear looks that normally as a rain and figures have. But I, like I said, I like the Abaddon Trooper more compared to the NCO, as you can see here. Now, uh, the 118 version of it. Uh, it's painted kind of a dark uh, gray whereas this one it is kind of a dark gray but then the, the more I look at it it seems that there's a bit of hint of blue very 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 dark blue uh, but yes uh, I don't know in the camera might be different uh, but but all uh, but if you just look at the glance that it is kind of a dark gray Right, and then <clears throat> okay. And then what I like also is that they actually have that chromy paint that I'm looking for just now. I look at this part here, kind of chromy here, here, and then here. Look at that, and then here. So I don't know why. Uh, oh, and here as well. Uh, where is it? Yes, on this lining. Uh, a bit chromey. Uh, I hope you can see it on the camera. But at least on some part, it's very, very visible here at the at the back. Whereas the the NCO, who is supposed to be the leader, looks ugly, right? I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> what's with the color choices here? But the the Abaddon Trooper looks great. I, I like this one better much much better all right so because these two are very much the same body mold a uh, bit of differences on paints uh, and patches but very much the same just focus on one okay because it's the same anyway all right same helmet style uh, with the uh, the commander or the SEO yeah. well I'm not sure where, whether they are fully robotic or uh, semi-robotic, still kind of cyborg-like. Uh, is this a helmet or is this a different face altogether? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, so let's just continue. All right, again, so the splotches, the logo, I like that. I like the chrome, all the chrome here, especially the one at the back, very visible. The, the side as well, very nice. Okay, the pockets still the same, okay, a separate belt pocket which is a robbery but it's still in back there I like the weathered look that's acid rain okay that's acid rain um, and then on the feet here chrome again uh, yeah mostly this is black this is kind of a you see you can see the difference right this is this is a very dark black whereas this one more like kind of a bluish uh, grayish navyish very very dark blue basically all right so uh well just for the video sake uh decolation okay decolation wise uh, uh oh yeah still 
also the robbery thing is the same very much head okay ball joint very quick uh, down side to side okay arms uh, for rotation by the way uh, to the back okay and then the uh, bicep rotation elbow bend uh, wrist rotation the crunch same 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 very much same you can see the the bolt there is that, is that what is it i mean the you know the metal metal stick in there okay and then turn around 360 uh, same kick kick side kick uh, split okay and then on the top here see rotation on the thigh uh, bend on the knee we don't have bend, uh, we don't have rotation on the knee because we have rotation on the thigh and then the ankle uh, the ankle all right so that's pretty much it uh, with these figures I'll try to do a quick measurement here uh, okay may not be the most accurate but in a glance this figure stands slightly above two point uh, 2.5 inch, so it's around 6. 6.6 centimeters. Okay, yeah, around that 6.6, 6.7 centimeters. All right. Uh, maybe just a bit side to side with the, the goods. Uh, this is the box trooper, as you can see. Uh, the enemies. And you can look at the appearance. Their appearance is pretty much more like robotic. Okay, as you can see here. Right. So, all right. Okay, we'll just continue with the accessories. Okay. So, we have two of this. First is the pistol. Okay, we have actually three of this. Uh, one, two. I'll show you another one after this. Uh, so we have three of this. Okay, uh, I think this is the side arms officially. Uh, very interesting. I don't really like it. <laughs> I don't know. Looks weird. But hey, uh, no trigger. Uh, but yeah. It's solid, by the way. Mm, no holes, unfortunately. But yeah, you know this is small pistol, uh, and if you put it on the MC officer here, yeah, like this for example, it's snap fit. All the accessories are. It holds very nicely. Okay, so that's the pistol, right? Then uh, I'm going to show you the knife here. You have a solid knife. I think we have this with the other side as well. I may be mistaken, but as far as I remember, I think this is not new. The pistol was new, but this is not. And you can also snap it into the hand. Oh, it's very tight, by the way. So, like this, yeah. Okay, so, so works. That's the knife, pretty simple and solid as well. Uh, just be careful, don't break it. All right, look at this point aside. All right, and then we have this sort of I don't know, it's kind of a UZ sort of rifle, you know what I mean. Okay, submachine gun. Uh, I like this one. I like the his. It has this whole part here, hollow part. Just cool. I like the details on it. Uh, and it actually has holes, which is cool. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes they do it good. Sometimes they squeeze the budget. But the scope, 
the scope is nothing special but okay it does come with the scope anyway so let's try to put it on the NCO so I guess you can you can just position it somewhat close the scope near the eyes like that this is cool all right uh, can we do a sort of okay we can we can somewhat do something like that not not very cool but yeah i think one handed one handed works all right so not really a two handed shooting pose not really the two handed pose that we are looking for so this is for me is more of a one handed one handed rival yeah like like a UZ okay All right and then we only have one of this so we have the three pistols we have one of this and then we have the knife and then we have this uh, sort of you know, it reminds me of the German, you know, German uh, rifle as well. Okay. Could be wrong, but it reminds me of that. As you can see here, uh, it seems that this part. Oh, never mind. Yeah, it's the thing. I think they put the magazine here. Um, still no. I don't know if that's the trigger. Is that it? <laughs> Probably not. But a bit of detail on the on down there, which is appreciated. Uh, solid as well. Be careful not to break the longer part here. Okay, we'll try to do a two-handed precision. Okay, with hopefully we can do it. Uh, I don't know. For this kind of rival, you know, we don't probably need a kind of sniping really high precision but we'll see what I can do okay. I don't I don't know whether we can do kind of a two-handed precision with this probably not a decent one you know we can probably do something like this I know it's not gripping but you know with this kind of shape of of a grip what do you expect, right? Uh, and, and this shape is not exactly catered for the for the hand to grip, so you can force it. Oh, you can actually. I'm sorry about that, guys. I was too afraid to break my toy. So yeah, you can do it like this. It's very cool. I like working accessories like this. Mm, yeah, boom, 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 like that. So it's good that. Uh, this actually is, uh, can be grabbed. I just that I just feel that the the shape or the this this part is a bit too big for the arms. I mean for the grip that it may loosen up the grip over time. So I don't suggest you to put this in the in your display like that, as you can see. But yeah, it's cool. If you want to do photo shoot with that pose. That will work. Okay, so this this is cool. I like that. And lastly, we have this kind of a standard. Oops, not this one. Sorry. Uh, this this one, I think this one. Oops. Okay. Uh, this is the standard rival. Uh, I think it's similar to what we have with the one eighteen scale. Okay, we have two grips there. Uh, we have the magazine. I like the hollow part as well. Uh, and then we have scope. Unfortunately, no holes at the front. Okay. So yeah, and then you notice there's this part here. Uh, I'm gonna try. There's this part here, which kind of a like a pack. Now, uh, what we do with this is normally with the 118, we try to lug it at the back. Okay, so remember this this cap. We try to plug it here, but I don't know whether this one will work. Oh, it does work actually. So, okay, so that's the function of it. 
this actually works that's cool look at that right I wish we can army build this guy I mean we can but uh, I wish they release kind of a five pack of this guy then we can have an army build of the army right okay and then we, of course we can also do a two-handed pose the two handle uh, or fight it there for this purpose we can do quite a decent uh, shooting position to handle like this uh, I'm trying to do a sniping pose if possible yes we can like this so it's not perfect okay but as you can see the eyes is covered near the the scope so it's very cool I like that you know I like that the the this this uh, the signature rival works really well two-handed okay so uh, I think this is the one of the best push so far uh, for these figures yeah. and by the way it's solid so where is it As you can see, it's solid, so yeah, you want to break it. I think it's sturdier because it's thicker, right? Compared to the this one, this one you might you might be careful, right? Okay. All right. Before I continue, I just want to mention to you that the UZ actually the little UZ also had that same the same peg pack with the uh, the rifle so you can put it on the NCO I think okay you can you can just line it up and then push it in okay all right just like that focus please all right go so you can do it facing up like that or facing down if you want to okay uh, holds nicely can do it in this pose as well, this position, okay, and as well as the rival, you can do it facing up as well or facing down. So I just want to point out to you that uh, even in this shooting pose, right, this this figure still stands really really nice, as you can see, right. So. Uh, that's what I like as well with this figure line. Okay. All right, uh, it's posable, uh, working accessories, and yeah, that's cool. All right, so okay. Fortunately, we cannot put all the guns, uh, but we have the two guns here. Whereas the let me lower down a little bit so here you can see that uh, this guy uh, I did the sniping pose that I show you with kind of action legs and then uh, this NCO have the pistol with the uh, knife or blade and then with the UZ on the back and then that that uh, soldier there, the trooper over on the left there, with the kind of a, I don't know what it's called, uh, the German-like gun, and then with the, with the rifle at the back. Okay, so maybe let me put, try to position it closer that you can see. Okay. Right, very easy to pose. Uh, okay, so the verdict. Uh, I like the paint on the Abaddon Trooper, as I said, I like the chrome uh, chrome paint, I like the accessories, I like this one sniping precision, uh, I like that you can attach the weapon to the backpack, not the backpack, but to the back, but again, like I said, I wish they have a better color scheme for the NCO, because I thought, you know, the leader is supposed to be the coolest one, right, but here, I don't know man, it looks weird to me. 
uh, especially the white pocket there looks weird but hey you know uh, it is what it is so yeah All right so thanks guys for watching until the end if you like this video please like subscribe and share and forget to turn on your notification bell for more updates and you can always chat me up through instagram and ciao